Okay, for the Site Creations page editor, uh, I've incorporated a new color picker, and this is a short demonstration. When you select text and go to the text color picker, uh, whatever the color of the text is, if it's all one color, will automatically show up as the current color in the picker. And you can adjust the brightness with this dial indicator. And you'll see there's a little indicator mark to show you what the current setting is. Like that. And you can pick the color. You can just drag anywhere in this square, even out here, and pick one of these colors on this palette. Uh, this is a classic color circle. And you can just drag anywhere in here. Now towards the center, the saturations go down to almost no hue at all in the color. And as you drag out towards the edge of this circle, you get the most pure hue values without crossing over into the gray region. So if you're very careful and you can pick right where it comes in, then you can get a very pure color value. When you're happy with the selection, you can click OK. Now it doesn't look like anything changed until you actually click out of the selection. If you select more than one color and go to the color picker, the default is going to be black. Because uh, default text in this editor is going to be uh, black text. Uh, the first thing you want to do is bring up the shade value and then pick a color. Like this. And then it changes all of them. Okay, so you've got to bring this indicator up just off the bottom basically and then you can pick a hue and then this keeps track. Uh, you'll notice as you drag over this area here this tells you what the current color is right under the mouse pointer. So you can just track down and then find what you want and then click. Or if you know the color you want then you can type in the value you need. So your original color here on the text from the example was 0080FF in HTML. And when you hit the, re the Enter key, it updates automatically. It resets the uh, indicator positions to the proper place. Let me show you that. I'll did. And there you have pure magenta. So if you know the HTML color value, you don't need to add the number hash, but you do need to do six digits. And they're going to be in 0 to 9 and A through F. It's not case sensitive. And just type in the values. So that's pure white. There you go. Now, uh, pure white, coming off of pure white is going to have the same problem because if you go to the red and then dial down, it, it's, it gets confused. So adjust the shade first. The algorithm has problems with pure white and pure black. So if you're starting with pure black, definitely adjust the shade first and then adjust the color. Pure white 
it's not likely you're going to have pure white text unless you're trying to hide something because the background on the all these pages is going to be white and you can't see white text on a white background so that's the new color picker and it gets rid of the old color picker which was part of the windows uh, user interface it stopped working on my version of windows for some reason and so in order for me to work on this I needed to change this other than that everything should be working just fine and this is the introduction to a new color picker for the site creations page editor.